That closely contested Senate race in Alaska appears to be over. The Associated Press projects that Republican Ted Stevens has lost his bid for re-election just weeks after being convicted on federal ethics charges. Catherine Brown is in Washington with more. Catherine, good morning. Hi, good morning to you, Russ. And uh, he is the longest Republican senator in history. Uh, Ted Stevens became a uh, senator back when Lyndon Johnson was president. A long and powerful career that is coming to an end, if you ask his opponent. I feel like the voters have spoken, that they want to see Alaska move forward and have this new generation of change. The Associated Press says the latest vote tally indicates Anchorage Mayor Mark Begich has an apparently insurmountable lead in a very close election that involved a painstaking vote count. Another likely factor, Stevens' criminal conviction on federal corruption charges. A week before the election, a federal jury found Stevens guilty of concealing $250,000 in home renovations and gifts. A defiant Stevens maintained he had been railroaded. I'm here to tell you that I am innocent of the charges that were brought against me and I will be vindicated. But Stevens will also be remembered as a pivotal figure in Alaskan politics and his ability to secure billions of dollars in federal aid for Alaska, including the now famous Bridge to Nowhere, as well as his fiery Senate floor temper. I have never seen this suggested to take and single out one state and say, you pay, you pay for a disaster that happened 5,000 miles away. Word that Stevens had lost his bid for a seventh Senate term came on his 85th birthday. Now, this is important to note. Stevens has not yet conceded the race, though he says he will not ask President Bush to pardon him for his seven felony convictions. Russ? Catherine Brown in Washington. Thank you very much.